Hi, it's Greg, and for today's video, I would like to talk about something a bit less advanced. It's how to create a whole lead magnet process with a spot, even with a free account. So just to summarize it, what is a lead magnet? It's an inbound strategy that allows you to collect leads that will populate your CRM. So the most famous example is by proposing an ebook on your website that will allow you to collect data from your lead and give them free value. So concretely, how does it work? I think the best way for me to show it to you is to present you my own lead magnet, which is a, a spot ultimate setup guide. It's like a guide I propose for free that offer more than 40 videos on how to create and optimize your a spot portal if you're a beginner. And if you're watching this video, you might be a beginner. So don't hesitate to get your access in the description below. So to create a full lead magnet process to propose your ebook to everyone, what you need. First, you need an ebook, of course. You would need a form to collect information about your leads. You will need a landing page like this one that will show the value of your ebook and present it to everyone. And of course, you will need an email that will get sent automatically after someone fill this specific form. So in this video, we'll go through every single step of this process to be able to have a ebook ready to get sent to your leads. So to do so, we go to a spot. The first thing we need to do is to upload our ebook on a spot. So to do so is really easy. You go to library, files and upload files. You will be able to upload your ebook like here. It's like a PDF ebook and it's on your a spot. So it's ready to be proposed to your audience. Then the next step we need to do is to create a form so people fill the form and receive the ebook. So to do so you go to marketing, forms and you will just create a new form. As we saw the form is embedded on our landing page so you need to create an embedded form. You click on next, you can start from scratch and here it just depends on you what kind of information you want to collect. Basically, more your lead magnets will bring value, more information you can ask in return. But normally we can say we want the first name, the last name, the email, why not the company name. And if we want to have even more information, you can add the phone number. On this tab, you will be able to change the display. So we can make it a bit more visual and easy to read like that. And don't forget to put some step as required to make sure you have a good data quality when you collect your lead data. Short tips while we are here, if you want to ask the phone number, don't forget to click on it, go on the bottom and click on show country code drop down menu. It will force the lead to put its country so you will have the same nomenclature for all your phone number. It will always be plus country code and the phone number. It will be way more efficient on your database to have the same way of collecting phone number across your database. Of course, this one is an example, so just adapt it with the property you want to uh, insert on your form. And once that's done, you can simply create an update and publish. So as it's an embedded form, a spot will give you the embed code in case you want to put this form on a non -a spot page, but we see with a free version that we can create a spot landing page that will make our process way more simple and let us have way more analytics about our results. So you can click on the little cross. You can also give it a name if you want. Let's say ebook download form. Don't forget to update if you make any changes and publish. And now that we have our form, we can talk about the landing page. So the landing page, you can go to contents and click on landing pages. The landing pages is a page that is optimized for conversion. So you forget about the headers, the footers and stuff. You just want to have one call to action, which is fill that form. So if you're using the free version, you will not be able to use the AI function, but you can start from scratch and we will build a landing page together. You give it a name and then we will have the chance to choose a specific template. So we can choose the one we like, let's say, Elevate, we can preview the term and see the page we want to see. So for instance, landing page downloadable resource, that's perfect. And we see that we have some text to put the proposal value, the form and other like different models we can customize to have the perfect landing page we want. Okay, I want to use this term, so I click here and I will choose my template. So what do we want? We want a landing page that show a downloadable resource. So this one sounds perfect to me. I select it. And now we can start creating our landing page. 
So how does it work? It works with like modules. You already have pre-made modules, but if you don't like this one, for instance, you can just like take it off and by clicking on plus, you will be able to add all the different module you want. The module you can play with is directly linked to what the template offers. So it's important you check all the features you need. But for our example, we need a classic thing. We just like text and form. Let's say I don't want to have this module, neither this one, neither this one. I just want basically to have a picture, a text and a form. You can click directly to the module you want to change here. It's the text. You can personalize it with your wording and what you want to show as a value. So download your amazing ebook. For instance, you can change the heading and stuff. And if you go to styles, you can add like different styling option. Of course, you change every text you can find to make it match your brand. And on the form selected, you click on here and you will just select the form we just created. Basically, take the time to check what the template offers you. And once you're happy, you can check how does it look on a mobile, on a computer. Once you're happy about your design, you can click on view and preview URL. You will see exactly how it will look like for people that will arrive on that page. Once you're happy, you need to add the different option. For that, you just need to go to settings, general, and here you will be able to change everything. So that's my page title for Google. My content slug is here. You can add a meta description. You can add filter image, etc., etc. Once you're happy, you just click on publish and that's it. Your landing page is published. You can click here and see how it looks. That's perfect. People now can start filling this form to receive their ebook. The thing is, for now, we can collect the data of our customer, but we can't send them the ebook. But the last thing we need to do is to create an email. To do so, you go to marketing, email, and create email. What we want here is this automated email, is an email that will get sent automatically if a lead do a specific action or if you meet some specific criteria. Normally, these automated emails are reserved for marketing pro, but in the free version or in the starter version, we can create an email that will get sent automatically if a lead fill a specific form, and is this feature we're gonna use right now. So you click on automated, next, and same as the landing page, they will ask you to choose a template. So let's say I want an ebook template. Oh, there it is amazing. I click on choose template. And like I did for the landing page, you will simply modify what you want. So for example, download your amazing ebook. You can click here, replace the picture by the picture of your ebook and add the text you want. And now what we want is that when they click on download now, they receive their ebook. And here is like www.example.com, so it will not work at all. The idea is to get the URL of the ebook we put on a spot before. So you just simply need to go back to your library files. You will see your ebook. You can click on details and here you will have the URL of your ebook. You simply copy your URL, you go back to your email and you will simply copy paste the address. And you can try it. If you open this page on a browser, it will show the ebook you just upload. Once you're happy about everything, you can give it a name. So ebook download email, go to settings, you can change the from name, the from address, you can have the subject line, add a preview text if you want, the language, the subscription type, etc, etc. Once you're happy about everything, you can click on review and publish. They will tell you what you need to take care about. Normally, if you use a real account, it will not show anything if you did your job correctly. Me is a test account, so I get some warnings. And you publish and then they will ask you what do you want to do with this specific email. So every time you publish a new automated email, a spot will propose you to directly insert this email into a workflow or into a form. The workflow is for the paid version for Marketing Pro is more, way more complex, but what we want, we want to say that every time a lead fill a specific form, he will receive this email and the form we want is ebook download form, the, the form we created together in the beginning of this video. You click on go to form, we click on create this workflow and you will be able to choose the email you just created. You save it and you update 
and you are good to go. That way, you have a full lead magnet process for your ebook. Your ebook is host on your hotspot portal. You created a landing page to redirect visitors to this specific page. You have a form, and when you fill the form, people will receive the ebook by email. So this video is targeting like new users of a spot that have a free or starter account and want to have like basic automation. So if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe if you don't want to miss my next videos. For the beginner that want to know way more about a spot, I really recommend you to download my Lean Magnet, a spot intimate setup guide that you can find on the description below. It was Greg. I wish you a great day and see you next week.